Hello, hello, beautiful Sunday heroes. Hello, hello, air bogs digging the music. You would, you would like this. I actually don't mind it. It's kind of, um, almost like, I don't know. Makes me feel like Zelda, but on a boat. <laughs> Jin, welcome! Long time no see, how are you? Hello, hello! We are doing Shadows of Loving, so okay, so of course I have to be the stick man again. Um, it's just, it's necessary. I, I, oh fuck, I forgot the top hat! My gentlemanly top hat. Oh, yeah. oh well. yeah. Sassy, welcome! Now this, this is actually five years. Love it here, sincerely, your biggest fan, self-named. Sassy, thank you, thank you for the resub. Happy 61 months. Happy actual five years. Real five years. Welcome back to the superhero's biggest fan. <laughs> Charles, welcome! You made it for the start of loathing. Okay, let's, um, let's get sound. Um, and then I'll do a quick recap, both for myself and for anybody who hasn't been here for the beginning of this crackpot game. Um, <laughs> essentially, uh, we are this nice gentleman. Oh, I'm not even wearing the top hat. Why not? Why the fuck not? Don't tell me this didn't save. Hot bath. I think we're okay. Yeah, three unspent XP sounds right. Um, hold on. We need to sort out my hat, though. What the fuck is squirrel cheese? <sighs> Was I even playing this game? <laughs> uh, hats, hats, hats. Okay, okay, all right. Every everything's right with the world. Everything's good. Word's good. Um, so we are this nice gentleman. This is us. Um, we are on a quest. Um, we got a letter from our uncle, a mysterious letter saying, hey, I need help. Come to my antique store. We're like, I got you, uncle. So we came all the way to the antique store and, uh, they were like, yeah, um, he's missing. And, uh, we don't know where he went. And we also take in cursed artifacts and cleanse them. And that's your job now. So we are wandering around collecting up cursed artifacts. Let's uh, quickly check our to-do list. Um, oh yes, there's vampires. Didn't, didn't remember that one. Um, oh yeah, we can get cat boons. <laughs> Hold on, where are my notes? Okay, we've got things to do. Um, so far we have met a evil, I'm gonna say wizard for lack of a better term, named Noel uh, that likes Crimbus. Cr crimp? Crim Crimbus? Is that, does that sound right to people? Crimbus? Um, essentially they're Christmas. Crimbo, Crimbo, Crimbo. Uh, and uh, she likes Crimbo, which is their Christmas, and has a hat full of uh, the void? I don't know. Uh, we keep finding portals that open up to a different like star-filled dimension. It's kind of spooky, kind of Lovecraftian. And I think she's the main baddie of the game. Um, we've got a goblin companion named, fuck, Gab Gabby, uh, who is taking a break and dancing her heart out. Um, we're currently with Molly, who is a gang member that's been sent to, uh, help us but keep watch over us, because we somehow joined a gang, <laughs> I think. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all you need to do, need to, need to know about what we've done. Uh, go back to Hobo Camp and visit bean hobo okay find out where to return my overdue library book oh I think we did that I think that fucked off in our dream the kid stole it right uh get five mysticality we were able to read the gun handbook I think we did that too okay so we're gonna erase four yeah and then we're gonna erase five No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I started my Sunday adulting just after breakfast, so I was done in time for the stream. It's amazing when, uh, what happens <laughs> when you actually plan things. Way to go, Charles. Nice. Good deal. 
I um did too much adulting yesterday and my entire body hurts. It hurts so much. I burned like 4,000 calories yesterday according to my watch. It hurts. I um cleaned the house head to toe. Uh, deep cleaning. Deep, deep, deep. So deep. Um, we also like rearranged some furniture. 4,000. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. I don't remember. It was up there. <laughs> cleaning. Oh, cleaning. Oof, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it was cleaning and, and rearranging and <coughs> we're getting a lot of new furniture in the next couple of days. Um, we have had uh, well, okay, that's not coming, but we have, we have a lot of furniture ordered that, like, just isn't coming. <laughs> we, we have, like, an entertainment stand for our TVs that just isn't showing up, and we have a bed frame that's, like, on back order, and we've been waiting, like, four months, and it just isn't coming. Uh, but we also just ordered, like, uh, Bog's got a board game table he's had his eye on for a while, so we're really excited about that, and, uh, we also got a kitchen island, um, cause our kitchen has like a lot of room, but it's all just like empty floor. So it's not really good for, anyway, we were prepping for the new furniture to show up so that when it gets here, we can like assemble it and have new shit and then be even more sore. Probably it's going to be a good time. What did you guys do yesterday? Did anybody do anything fun? Commodore Tom, welcome. Hello. Hello. I looked it up. Average calories burned running an entire marathon is 2,600 mileage may vary fun intended. Okay, so I definitely didn't... Okay, hold on. Let's look up the actual receipts. Let's look up... I think I spend, like, on average... What was it? 1,800 just just living. Just living. Surviving. Uh, 1,800. And then yesterday, the calories burned were 3,280. I did seven floors... 7,000 steps, which I feel like it should be more, and technically walked 3.5 miles. God, no wonder I hurt. <laughs> my my watch today, it gives you, like, this score of, like, how ready you are to work out. Uh, the score yesterday was like, yeah, you could work out, and the score today is like, please, God, rest. You worked out too much. We've never seen you do this much activity ever in this app. Please stop. <laughs> Yesterday, I watched the first three episodes of Fargo. That's that's an older show, isn't it? How are you liking it? I've never seen it. Yeah, Commodore Tom, it's like on top of normal survival calories. It's just like the total of the day. Uh, Last of Us TV show is absolutely fantastic. Oh, fuck. I got to try that one. We just tried the near uh, automata, automata, however you pronounce that, uh, anime last night. It was okay. The blend of 2D and 3D just still really doesn't hit for me. So. Did we go? I think we went. We went upstairs, right? This is all fixed. Okay. So then what is our to do now? Take the compass. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had to go get a new compass for him because he wouldn't give us the cursed one. Okay. There's a... Yeah, Air, there's a near anime. It just started, like, three weeks ago, so there's only three episodes out, um, and it just goes over the plot of the game, pretty much. Like, the first episode was just the entirety of the prologue. Um, it's good so far, and it's faithful, but uh, it's... it's because it has mech stuff, so all of that is 3D, but the characters are 2D. It's Let's just say the game is a better experience, in my opinion. They're doing such a great job with it. Oh, man, we're going to have to try that one. Boggs, if you're still here, if you're listening, we need to try The Last of Us. Um, okay. Hello again. You find that old compass you were looking for? I sure did. Here, what do you think? Hmm, could use some polish, but it seems to be in good condition. All right, I'll swap you. Let me get the old Geiger counter back from you, too. Thanks. Oh, yep, no problem. Get along now. I got a lot of important nothing to take care of. <laughs> me. <laughs> Cursed compass. Cool. Julie! Hello, hello. Welcome and listening. How's it going? Uh, I feel you. I really want to get into 
Initial D, but the 3D kills it for me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I know that one. I know the new Trigun is too much 3D for me. That one just, whatever that style is, like the, the style that like Ruby invented, I can't. I cannot with that style. Deja vu, I've been in this place before. We have, we have been here. We have been here before indeed. Oh, that's a joke. That's an initial T joke. Got it. <laughs> okay, we gotta uncurse this compass. You sit with the compass in both hands. As the machine whirs and winds, it shakes around you. The machine, you feel, is frustrated. Some internal mechanism is swinging wildly, frantically, then crack. It figures out whatever it needed to, and there is no more curse. Not in the compass, not anymore. It still points to Old North, though, so it's practically useless. Uncursed compass. The compass's curse is now transfixed in the uncursing machine. Dare you project your consciousness inside? I will dare. I will dare. The new Trigun is also okay. Yeah. Oh, it's wartime, boys. Is that what this is? Or is this like sad baseball? What's happening? Gosh, that looks sore. This is madness. That foolhardy coach is going to get us all killed. Okay, it's sad baseball. Sad baseball. <laughs> um, we should listen to what coach has to say. Like it or not, he is our coach. We ought to listen to what he has to say. People say not to change horses in midstream, but what if the horse is trying to get you all bashed in the head with a baseball? That's a horse worth changing, and trust me, I know from uh, I know from horses. I saw I saw one once. I saw a horse once, so I have the qualifications. That's how we uncurse stuff. We do crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the new Trigon was already out. That's disappointing to hear. I loved Trigon when I was older. Yeah. Um, it. I think is out. I keep seeing stuff on TikTok about it. I haven't actually like looked into it. Um, but it's very 3D. I watched the original Trigon back in the day, but I don't remember much about it. Honestly, if they want to do a remake in a style that, like, new people... new People new to anime enjoy and want to consume, then fine. If it gets the story into more people's hands, right? If some, like, 12-year-old kid looks at anime from the 80s, 90s, and is like, ugh, gross, it's, oh, it's so nasty, oh, I could never. But the story's really good. So they re-release it in 3D, and the kid's like, fuck yeah, I love that 3D stuff. Oh my god, it looks amazing, look at that. <clears throat> Which is hard to imagine from my point of view, but, uh, and then he consumes the story, like, good, whatever, get that money. If people get to enjoy nice things, whatever, but it is... It is not for me. I would almost rather go watch nostalgic things like Sailor Moon. Uh, what do you think we ought to do? Let's get out of here. Go home. Don't you think things were just fine the way they were? Why are we doing this? You mean playing baseball? He looks you dead in the eye uh, and manages a nervy chuckle. Yeah, that's right, kid. Well, see ya. Oh my god, the Prince of Tennis 3D movie. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't watch it, but I saw a poster for it just like in a movie theater once. And I was like, oh my God, that is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen. Cause I used to, I watched the shit out of some Prince of Tennis when I was a kid. I'm disgusted it, that it's come to this. Uh, we all know you're the weak link in the team. Wow, rude. Some would say the team accountant shouldn't even be allowed to play on the field. But you tell me, did all my years, including you in the baseball lunches and furpees, make you a baseball player? Yeah, I'm ready to hit balls. I'm ready to smack balls. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Your destiny's out there on the diamond. Son, go and hit into the parking lot. I'll watch Sailor Moon again at some point. At some point. You know what's sad about it is I really love Sailor Moon. Like, it has a really special place in my heart because... I watched it as a kid, right? Like I had one VHS that I probably wore to pieces just watching it over and over again. I could not tell you the overall plot of Sailor Moon to save my life. I have like the manga, but I have like two, six, and then like Sailor Moon, whatever the next generation part was. And then it's like seven and eight. Those are like the four books I had as a kid because I like the pretty pictures and I got them like used from the library. So like, 
And then the show, right? When you're watching TV in the 90s, you get whatever the fuck they put on the TV. Like, you don't get to pick and choose and watch things in sequential order. So I'd get to watch, like, a bit here, a bit there. I never... I don't think I've seen the entire thing once. Yeah, you get whatever episode they want. Yeah, exactly. So I got, like, bits and pieces here and there. And, like, chunks and bits and... I thought it looked pretty and like that was the extent of my knowledge of it so I got the plot for you right here fighting evil by moonlight when it loved by daylight yeah but like I think I think the thing that confused me the most is when you read the books they didn't censor them but when you watch the show for the American version they absolutely censored them like instead of making two of the characters lesbians they made them cousins but then they were like really touchy feely cousins and it got really weird and uncomfortable and I was like why are these cousins like why are these cousins bathing together like what what is going on uh so that caused some confusion as a child <laughs> um and then there was the thing where like she she loves tuxedo mask she dates tuxedo mask but then at some point in like the next generation R, S, whatever, there's like the three people that are girls, but also guys. They're like guys during the day. And then when they transform into their sailor mode, they're, they're girls in bikini. I was always confused. I was like, so are they guys or are they girls? Uh, but then she starts like dating one of those dudes, I think. But like I never I never found out what happened to Tuxedo Mask. Is he dead? Did he die? Where'd he go? <laughs> the stupidest questions that I never answered as a child because I only got a chunk here or there. If anybody can answer those, please let me know. They're from Alabama. Oh, love your cousin. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That makes it all better. Gross. Uh, that's what I wanted to hear. Your destiny's out there on the diamond, son. Go and hit. Oh yeah, into the parking lot. Uh, hey, where'd you get that funny looking hat? Nothing funny about it. It's a, it's a cloak, a cloche. It's traditional. Gee, coach, you think Maribel will ever marry me? Can't answer that, son. All I can tell you is that Maribel has married every World Series MVP since the series was first contested in 1903. You work on the rest. What? Why would she? I thought they were married and had a kid in Sailor Moon. Yeah, they have Rini. Yeah, they do have a kid, but the kid's from the future. <laughs> I do remember that part. Their kid is actually from the future. Like, they're in high school. She's, like, 14 in the show, right? 13, 14. And she's dating, like, an 18-year-old, which already red flags. Um, but then the, the kid comes back from the future to meet mom and dad, I think, before they're dead. Maybe? I don't remember the, her reasoning for going back in time. I think Tuxedo Mask actually dies. But like, when in the timeline? Because I swear to God in the original Sailor Moon, he's like on the moon with them when she becomes Serenity, Ultimate, whatever, princess. Or something. Man, now I really gotta watch Sailor Moon because I have no fucking idea. I might try the new one. Uh, if I can find the Blu-ray, uh, re redone editions, because when they released, the animation was not there, uh, but it was rushed, and I heard that they fixed it for the DVD releases. I might try the new one, the remake. Uh, excuse me, coach, I gotta hit something. Why does everybody look so sad? You okay, fella? Plunkett Street pushover, powerful baseball team. Three more minds broken by baseball. The little mustache. Oh. Oh. Ow. Do I have to stand on the plate? Ow! Nope, I missed. Nope. Oh, I did it! Shit. What? How'd it come from above? Fuck. The nasty versions? I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, every swing that I take is an extra ball for them. I don't think I've managed to get one. 
That should have counted. We're just gonna lose more and more misler more and more miserably. Yeah. Yep. English is uh, definitely my forte today, guys. What am I supposed to do here? What's with these compasses? Uh, my swing won't connect with them. I know it must be overwhelming. All I can tell you is to stay calm. Remember that it's baseball. It's all about what you do hit. Oh, I think I get it. I gotta go hit some compasses. Can I smack this? Yeah. I win! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah, that's the remake. That's the one. Um... Look at the scoreboard. It's zero to hole. That's a whole, that's a whole, that's the whole baseball game. Nice. Couldn't have done it without you. No, get over here, champ, and pucker. What? 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 Get over here, champ, and pucker up, because here comes the coach's big sniff. I'm sorry. Excuse me? Ooh, error. Thank you. Yes. Yes, yes. TOS! Yeah, big big sniff? Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Is that... Ooh, what? I don't like that. Funny, the compass feels extremely reassuring now that it's back in its ordinary... Back to being an ordinary little thing in your hand and not something hurled at your head uh, in an oversized ghostly form from every cardinal direction. <laughs> it glows faintly. Emotional damage! <laughs> yeah, I felt that one in my soul. I'm gonna need therapy after the big sniff. Um, we need big sniff as a point reward. What would that be? What would that be though? What would be the, the sniff? I don't like this. I don't like a big sniff. Uh, speaking of good shows, guys, um, please, 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 for me, I don't even care if you actually watch it, although you should because it's decent, uh, but go onto Netflix on a tab on your computer, put Lockwood & Co. on, like, repeat. Like, just let the episodes play. Just give it as much watch time as you possibly can. The first season just came out. And it's one of my favorite book series of all time, and I need the show to continue. Like, I need them to get the watch time. In case you didn't know, uh, Netflix, the way that they gauge whether or not things will get a sequel, is, like, the show has to reach a certain amount of watch time in, like, the first two weeks. Like, they want people to binge it immediately and a lot. Um, so, if it's to get a second and a third season like it deserves, because that would be all five books... Uh, the first season goes over the first two books. Um, you should watch that show. <laughs> I thought about watching that show. It's good. It is good. I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's pretty faithful to the books. Uh, it captures a lot of like the characters' quips and stuff. Um, of course, books are always better. But the show has... It It didn't have like the biggest CGI uh, budget for visuals, but it's not terrible. Like It's not 3D Trigun terrible. It's decent. Um... Give it, an, give it an episode, and then if you hate it, just, like, let it play and don't actually watch it um, so that it can have the watch time it, it for me. <laughs> I didn't read anything except, uh, I don't read anything except manga, so I wouldn't know. Oh, uh, not nice, nice, nice. No, it's, um, it's like a middle grade series, so I don't think a lot of people have even read the books. Um, ah, sassy! No. That's okay. Um... But it, it's it's a good series. To to give you, like, if you have no idea, here's, here's the pitch for it. Um, a girl named Lucy, a guy named Lockwood, and a boy named George all form essentially a Scooby-Doo Ghostbuster society. Um, it's a world where only kids can see ghosts. Um, if you get touched by a ghost, you die. So it's an extremely dangerous profession, but kids do it um, because their parents make money from it. So Lucy, the, the girl who's, like, the main protagonist in the books right it's through her perspective um her mother essentially sells her into ghost hunting uh for the money and uh uh she has a tragic backstory just leave it at that and she goes to lockwood and co and they form this three-person little 
society uh, that's kind of like the underdog because there's like big corporations that do this kind of shit. Um, but they form this ghost society and then they try to take on ghosts. And it's like a, a scary ghost. Like it's not, ha it's not Slimer, right? It's not cute ghosts. It's like they will actually literally kill you <laughs> type of ghost. It's, it's cute. It's good. Uh, it may be weird, but hearing sniff, I'm thinking of the term sniff for skilled nursing facility. That would make it even weirder. This has teen slash young adult novel shit. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's a middle grade series, so yeah. You missed a point redeem? Oh shit, I did. Oh, oh my god. No, Drilly, no. No, I- My mind, it blocked it out on purpose. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Julie, do you promise to watch Lockwood & Co. if I do this? <clears throat> Choosing Slimer and not Casper for cute ghosts? I mean, like, Slimer is gross, but he's not deadly, right? Like, he's... Sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, Julie. <clears throat> oh, let me give you a big sniff. There you go. Yeah, it's not it's not Casper cute either. That's a whole different level. What do you call that when something isn't harmful? Innocuous is what my brain wants to say, but that doesn't seem right. There's a point redeem audio. Cancels Netflix. Thanks. <laughs> you would too. Uh, um, laugh at the compass. G, G coach, do you think Maribel will ever marry me? I wouldn't know, Leroy, but uh, you don't need to call me coach. We're friends. Call me C Jessica. Could you call me coach, though? Good. Uh, can I ask you a question about the menu, please? The men I please are none of your business? What? You out here? Oh, the, oh, the, oh, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Took me a second. I got there. Oh, I gotta go take on my tentacle. Oh, yeah. I hang the cow's skull over my desk. If anybody asks, tell them you killed the cow yourself. Nice. I gotta take on my tentacle, though. He loved it. The menu movie was fun. I, need, I still need to see that. I need to see that one. Uh, I think we used up, like, all of our cupcakes. So, let's just... Purchase a few more. We have a green one. We have a red one. We have pumpernickel. Okay. I guess we only use that one. Alright. What is our to do now? Oh. We gotta talk to Jessica, I guess. I have to take on my tentacle? Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Yes. Yeah, actually. It's uh, true Gen Z vernacular. Uh, I should know. <laughs> I got the compass. Oh, good. Not too much of an ordeal, I hope. Uh, could have been worse, I guess. There are some horrible fairies. What? No, don't tell me. Just uncurse the things and then get some rest. I'm a step ahead of you. Great. Nice work. Uh, I think the artifact is a book. I'll have the location narrowed down by morning. Okay. The next artifact. I actually, before I go to sleep, I want to go back to Crystal Dream Lake because I think... Yeah, we never got to go to the distillery. Oh my god, I forgot about the pet store. Mushroom cave! Off to the side of the dirt road, you see a little trail of mushrooms. You follow it for a while, uh, and find it leads to a cave whose mouth has been choked by mushrooms. Those things are bad for you. Let's check out the cave. Oh my god, clear in the fucking corner, of course. The menu is on Plex whenever you want. Fuck yeah! Thanks, Air. Nice. Is there, like, a limit on how much stuff you can put on there, Air? Do we have, like, a... A gigabyte cap? 
All the things. No. Seriously? Damn. No limit. Um, small request then. Could you potentially find uh this show? Uh this is such a fucking title. Uh it has Elijah Wood in it, and I started I only watched like 10 minutes of it, but it looks like a fucking trip. You know that show? Was it good? Was it worth it? A uh, huge writhing mass of fungus uh, must be the reason why they call this place Mushroom Mountain. Oh, let's fight it. Let's fight it. Oh, man. Big fungi. That's a chungus. Oh, that's a dead chungus. <laughs> no, not... Not Nelson. Turt. Turt. Nelson's the bird. Where am I right now? Generally, the only limit is how much disk space you have. Oh, I see. It sits... I see, I see. It sits on your computer, and then they borrow it kind of situation. Uh, I was wondering if I could find a Wari Monogatari on Plex, but then I couldn't find the link to it. Miro came in clutch. I got you. I got you. I have a bunch of just, like, I have a whole folder on my browser just called Where to Watch Shit, where I just keep links. And when one dies, I just find more. And I just keep this running tab of, like, where to watch things on the high seas. <laughs> I love the book of Dirk Gently's. It's a book? Never seen it, but consider it done. Nice. Thank you, Er. Let's both watch it. Let's see. <laughs> if when one dies, I find more. I do. Um, If you have a Plex username, I can invite you to my server. Get in here, sassy. It's worth it. Here's the MVP of Plex. Um, hypnosis. Oh. Let's do hot damage. I don't watch series with uh, actual actors anyway. Nah, there's some anime on there. Like he said, you just put Crystal on there. We could we could go through Sailor Moon. We should start, like, an anime watch party. Maybe then I'd make it through more anime. Um, I'm gonna spoon... 14! I can do 14 damage now? Damn, this spoon. I should take care of him. Oh, not quite. Spider, though. Dirk Gently was written by uh, the same guy that wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams. You know, that makes a lot of sense. From the 10 minutes of the show that I watched, that makes absolute sense. It does have that vibe. Every anime I've heard you or Mira mention, I've gone and put it on my Plex server. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, a mushroom spear. Uh, muscle plus three physical damage. Nice. Uh, don't do the Trigon one, Air. Don't, don't, the Trigon one, don't do that one. Don't, no, uh mm, mm no. <laughs> uh, can you just, can you just keep fighting them? You made a my anime list? Sassy. You gotta add me as a friend. God, I haven't used that in a minute. I don't think that's completely up to date anymore. Fuck, I gotta fix that. Shit. It's not great. Uh, six, eleven, I've got hot. Positively mentioned, not negatively. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't keep up with it. I literally just made it and left it. I went through the painstaking process of trying to remember every anime I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, some of which were very, very, very obscure. Like Mushirambo took me probably... Four hours of Googling to figure out. Thank God other people were like, what's the name of the show, right? And had, like, conversed about it for me to be able to to find it. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I try to keep it up to date now so that I never have to do that ever again. But, honest to God, I haven't actually finished a new anime probably since 2020. I've been kind of in a dry spell. Uh, but I do tend to, I tend to rotate my hobbies unintentionally. 
Um, nice, Turk got stronger. Uh, so I have like video games, right? Obviously. Um, then you got anime. Then you got reading, and like manga and comics are kind of their own type of hobby, really. Then you got art, which is also in a dry spell and has been for a while. Uh, Rip Nero finishing Wonder Egg Priority. Then listen, I started it. I got the tab open. All right, it'll happen. Um, I think I think those are like the main hobbies, pretty much. Um, I've not done music in general since forever. Music, sassy. That makes me sad. I mean, I guess it's the same with me in art, right? <laughs> I literally didn't make a picture at all last year. I started a couple and that's it. I just haven't felt inspired. Not sure how to get that spark back. <laughs> Mio makes art, right? I know. I think we could just keep fighting these things. Should we just have a, a grind session? We've got 33, hold on. I wanna figure out how much a fight is worth XP wise out of curiosity. So one more fight. Nice. Turtle, why are well, you facing the wrong way, buddy? You're not even in the fight. Let's do this one. Oh, only does three hot damage. Does six to this dude. Let's wreck his day then. We'll take the spoon to the mushroom. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess, like, normal Netflix counts as a hobby, too. Like, normal people shows. Wait, fuck. I didn't read it. Goddamn. Okay, well, I know we had 33. 41. I gotta do math. Eight. Eight per battle is... Yeah, that's not great. That's gonna take a minute. I... So, moral of the story is... Uh, I think, I think the anime hobby is coming back into rotation. I think. Wonder Egg Priority is going to do it. <laughs> uh, your mean oh boy. Your meandering hike takes you near the lake, which may not have been reflected in the map display, but you'll just have to suspend your disbelief on that one. <laughs> Molly picks up a flat stone and skims it expertly across the water. Nice one. Thanks. Hey, Buck. How big a rock do you think you can chuck? Raw muscle isn't exactly my forte, but I do all right. I guess I do all right. You pick up a fist-sized rock and pitch it in the lake with a splash. A loud plonk follows close behind, and when you turn, you see Molly pitching a softball-sized rock with a grin. That's impressive. I may look like a girly girl, but uh, my Tommy's got kick like a mule. Got to keep the rust off these pistons, you know? Is Tommy your boyfriend? That sounds kind of... <laughs> what are we doing with Tommy? Uh, my girlfriend's name is Nancy. Tommy is short for an M1921 Thompson submachine gun. Oh, oh, right. I knew that. She heaves another large rock into the lake. You try your best to match her, but it's not much of a contest. Nice. She increased. Um, Wondering priority from the one episode I've seen twice now is really good, uh, and I'm excited to watch more of it. Uh, I think the only anime I've actually finished recently was actually Spy Family, the, like the first part of it. Uh, Boggs and I were watching it. Uh, 10 out of 10. I guess my name is Nancy now. Get that legally changed, Sarah. Make sure you get that on the birth certificate. Nancy. A spooky looking lady is guarding the front of the old distillery. Presumably she's a vampire. She looks spooky enough to be a vampire. Is that racist? Pro church. She glares at you as you approach, her eyes flashing blood red. Be gone from this place. You have no business here. Actually, I do, uh, and I'd like for you to invite me inside. What? No. Uh, don't you have to? I thought this was... That was one of the big vampire things. Like, that if someone asks you to invite them inside, you have to do it. That is nearly the most opposite of that... Of true that is possible for that to be... Oh, darn. Leave this place at once, or the consequences will be most dire. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be like that. What's eating at you? If you do not leave, the question will be, what is eating you? And, that an and the answer will be me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was pretty good. 
Ah, uh, ha, yeah. You really set me up for that one. Just fight her, threaten her with mystical powers, or leave. No, I'll, fu I'll, I'll fucking throw down. I knew the, the nickname Tommy uh, was for the Tommy gun. Uh, I knew that a Tommy was like Tommy was a Tommy gun, but I didn't know that it stood for the M19 whatever that she said. Uh, heck, she's just one vampire. You think to yourself as you crack your knuckles and ready your weapon. How hard can this be? As if hearing your thoughts, she snaps her fingers and a couple of slavering, slavering, not quite human creatures emerge from the shadows behind her. Oh, great. What the fuck are these? God, I, I don't like that. Nice. Vampire thrall, huh? Does it want some sleaze damage? Three sleaze. Yeah, we'll do sleaze. Oh, I forgot this one does multiple. Nice. I should have been doing this one all along. That was not hard at all. Literally, they didn't even get to attack me. You won. Unfortunately, there's almost certainly more of them inside. That's okay. Ghouls, probably. Thralls, apparently. Just got turned into a vampire yesterday in D&D? &D? Oh, F. Wait, was that the idea? Like, was that your goal? Yeah, do you like that or not? Like, is that a good thing? Uh, I knew it was a Thompson machine gun, but I never knew the number, which I believe was the original creation year. That makes sense. For it to be the year. Over here. What do you want? Nice. Molly's cap knee? Hey, Buck. Hold still a minute while I hit you in the knees with this lead pipe, okay? What? No! Aw, oh, come on. I got a swell idea for improving my kneecapping technique, and I want to test it out. Well, you can wait until we get into a fight with someone and try it out on them. Fooey, I hate waiting for stuff. Please don't fucking kneecap me. Can we peek in this hole? Oh, we can squirm through. That will probably go in our favor. We're gonna make some potions. Uh, almost everything on the shelf is busted up trash, but there's an unsmashed crate of, crate of booze. Take it to the speakeasy. Okay. Uh, I guess this is where Grandpa Joe kept all of his broken glass. The booze that used to be stored here is now in booze heaven. Oh, booze heaven. Specifically sought, sought it out. Don't know if I regret it yet. Also, my party doesn't yet know. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, no. My hobo knowledge isn't strong enough? Hold on. Hold on. I know I can go talk to the bean hobo. Uh, hobo camp. We're going to hobo camp. Uh, yeah, we'll fight. We'll fight him. You, you got that rent, that wrench, spider. You did it. Yikes. Man, remember when Turt didn't even last a turn? Technically hits five different enemies. This spider man hanging on for dear life. Nice. Wow, we got tons of stuff. 16 meat. Turk got stronger. Okay, we need the bean hobo. I wish I oh I think it's in the grub cart, right? That would make sense. Yeah. Well hey there! Good to see ya again. What? That's it? That is so disappointing. I'm so, I'm so sad.
He gave us our the knowledge before, did he? Did he give it to us like before we even got here? I wish I could buy beans from him. Oh, bummer. All right. Turt will save us all. Through Turt, all things are possible. Turt trained directly under Fancy Dan. I believe in Turt. He, he trained under Fancy Dan? Man, what the hell's Blue Cola? You happen upon a small rest stop type area just off of the path uh, with a rickety old picnic bench and square brick bunker that is presumably a public toilet. Although this, a sign on the door says out of order and the sound of flies buzzing inside doesn't incline you towards testing that claim. There's also a meat operated blue cola cooler, which still has a couple of cans of soda in it. Although judging by the rust, it doesn't look to have actually cooled anything in a while. I'll buy one. I'm gonna check the, uh, empty. The fancy Dan lore expands. I like this. I like this. We could write an entire book on fancy Dan. Fancy Dan, a biography. What would we call it? Fanciest of Dan's? Mob combination. You use Don Tr Toblerone's terrible combination to unlock the door. Oh. Well, nice. Guess we didn't have to squeeze through that hole yet, after all. All right, let's fight him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was all nines. Or it was, no, it wasn't one, two, three, four. I don't remember what it was. Um, all right, let's fling some beans. Are they beans? Who knows? Oh, we fling them so well with our spoon. Um. Oh my God. Intends to riddle Leroy Jenka with microscopic cuts causing four bleed damage. Better than 12 physical. <laughs> he died so spookily. Ooh, skull cane. Spooky. A bloodle? It's a piping hot strudel filled with the blood of... I don't know, raspberries or whatever strudels normally have in them. <laughs> uh, you won. Unfortunately, a bunch more vampires that were lounging around the rear of the building are now getting up to see what the fuss is about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guess I better punch him in the face. Wow, he, he went really far back there. You hit like a tank now? I know, right? I, I feel like I've almost broken the mechanics somehow. Oh my God, he just ate me. Thanks, Turt. Got my back. That Fancy Dan magic. I wanna go back and visit Fancy Dan. I miss him. We haven't seen him in a while. Um, Sleeves armor by three. Well, we can't have that. I sling sleaze. I like how I've turned into a gentleman that essentially slings garbage. I just, I throw garbage with my nasty, dirty spoon in my nasty, dirty trousers, but I still look like a gentleman. I feel like that's the definition of a trash panda. Like I am just a raccoon. I look nice, but I'm actually garbage. <laughs> oh, we got more bloodle. You won. You should call your, they, they should call you uh, Dr. Van Helsing after the character in the books who also killed a bunch of vampires. As far as you can tell, the place is cleared out now. That should satisfy Don Troblin and his boss. Excellent. Maybe it's the inside that's just nasty. Amprobs, welcome. Yes, my inside is actually, yeah, it's it's disgusting. You are not wrong. Drum is most certainly, oh yeah, I'm gonna bang on it. Yeah. It clangs, again. Oh, 
that's satisfying. I hope you don't catch uh, polychritic homophilia, Elder Scrolls Oblivion reference. Man, the one time that I did start to play Skyrim, I wanted to get infected. I wanted to be a vampire. Uh, let's pick through it. What do we got? Vampire boots? Invented when a cobbler accidentally mispronounced vampire bats. They make you float like a spooky vampire. <gasps> Guys, I have jet boots now. Cosmetic wine. Poison. A vampire's metabolism won't process real wine, but vampires still like to look 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 like cool wine people. Plus one to your moxie. Red hemophilia blood likeness. Ah. Look at you with the English breakdown. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Now I'm a spooky gentleman! This is fantastic. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, mirror this vanity has been broken, but the drawers still work. What's in them? A rush ring. Fraternity ring that was originally bestowed on a pledge that ran the fastest in humiliating, in a humiliating nude race. You act earlier in combat. Hamethyst? Hamethyst? The tightness of the choker makes your neck muscles stand out more when you grimace. Plus on the muscle. Okay. The sofa is soaking wet. One of the mist vampires must have been sitting here. Also Greek breakdown. None of the words are... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> you right. Uh, combine those with a cra the crab walk shoes. You'd be floating and walking funny. That'd be fantastic if I could wear two pairs of shoes at the same time. Uh, unfriendly vat do not use. This vat uh, left an intentionally hold up, intentionally left empty. Label on this vat reads Grandpa Joe's extra fancy garlic schnapps. Maybe this prohibit. Maybe it wasn't prohibition that put this place out of business. I'm so sad about this hobo code. We need to go like immediately find more hobos over here. Does she? Is she gonna level up again? Damn. Molly seems to be practicing some kind of dance with a lot of quick movements and hopping around. Hey, what's up? Working on your dance moves? Sure, kinda, except uh, this dance ain't about cutting a rug. <laughs> she makes a sharp gesture and the blade of her flick knife snaps open. It's about cutting a, you know, an enemy of some sort. See? Uh, yeah, right. I get it. She acts earlier in combat now. Nice. Okay, let's go give uh, Fancy Dan a visit. Oh my god, I'm just gonna spookily, spookily float into here. Oh no! The Glockenspiels? This Glocken has changed its ways. Guys, we're making the band more exotic somehow. She was using a foot. I don't, I don't know that I like the glockenspiel in it. It overpowers the bass. Fancy Dan. Uh, hi Dan, right back at you, buddy. What's new? Here's a cut of your profits, baby. Oh, nice. I found a case of rum. A uh, little bit of island nectar, eh? I found a case of gin. This, uh, this will gin up some more business for sure. Ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Nice. Shot in the belly. Wait, Spoon Guy, where are you going? I love you. Come back! I look a little bit out of place. Pretty sure the Glockenspiel is going to alert the public to our presence. We're not going to be a secret speakeasy for long. Do we know these guys? Oh yeah, the groundskeeper, okay. Oh, do we have, can we do this now? Oh, we can. Nice. The labyrinth of Metapon is not so difficult, really. Once you spend some time on it, you visualize its rooms and corridors, make a mental map of which paths 
bring you to dead ends and which to succeed. And which to success. That sentence doesn't jive with my brain. Uh, the key turns decisively in the lock and the cast iron head of Metapon gives you a little wink. We still need six muscle and eight moxie though. How close are we to that? Hmm. Close to muscle. If we could get 150 XP. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, what if. Hear me out. You find a decaying nightstand discarded in a ditch, which is kind of a weird place for a nightstand. Maybe somebody got mad about stubbing their toes all the time. They got. They angrily drove it out to the woods and threw it out of the car. We got comfy hat lining. Nice. And a paperclip. Good, good. What I want is hobos, though. Crystals, Crystal Dream Valley Crystal Shop. All right. Looks like a bar I would want to hang out at, right? I wish speakeasies were still a thing. Like, ultra-secret bars that weren't crowded with a billion people and had nice jazz music. Like, please. Oh, this is like an actual crystal shop. Oh, no. Where's all the crystals? There are your crystal and strike, contrary to the sign out front. What happened? What do you sell here? What do you think? Nothing. You're dead right, ain't ya? Uh, and that's funny, don't you think? Because you'd really think what a crystal store next to crystal mine would sell crystals, wouldn't you? I would, yes. Uh, let me tell you a little story about a young woman whose name is me. <laughs> I love stories about me. What a great character. I love stories. My parents wanted me to go straight into college, so that's what I did. But college girls, they're only thinking about one thing, getting a degree so they can work in the mine. I'm not like regular girls, guy. Gas -powered stick. Oh. Gas -powered stick. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Gas guys. Guys, it's a fancy Dan fact. Are you ready for a fancy Dan fact? He once went to a psychic to warn them of their future. Holy shit. That would be a mad power move. To walk <laughs> to walk into a psychic and be like, no, your future. <laughs> His business card simply says, I'll call you on it. Oh my God. The amount of suave Fancy Dan has. He gave his dad the talk. Oh my God, Fancy Dan. Jesus. He's flipping. He's got like reverse Uno is his middle name. He is Fancy Dan. <laughs> I love Fancy Dan. I love this lore of Fancy Dan. <laughs> it's just the best. Uh, 10 out of 10 Fancy Dan lore. Thank you so much for the donation, Fax. Uh the, the one where he goes to the psychic to tell them them their future is just, man, that's big ball energy right there. Incredible. Uh, okay, she wanted to go to college. She went to college. Uh, I'm not like regular girls, guy. I want to sell the things that come out of the mine. Sure, gases and such. So I dropped out and moved across the country, 13 states, to the best crystal mine in the country. But when I arrived, the mine was out of business. Uh, and now, so am I, before I even got started. Uh, I missed why you want to sell crystals specifically. My name is Crystal. Oh, that doesn't mean you have to sell crystals. Yeah, it just means I got fewer nouns to keep in my head. There was a gastropub slash brewery that has a speakeasy. They had a limited number of people they would let in, and every morning they would make a cryptic post uh, that would give the password for entry to get in. Hell yeah. Sadly, the place closed uh, the rent in order in that area increased too much. Aw, as the area got more popular. That sucks. That's such a cool idea. Aw, that would almost ensure, like, if you got popular enough that you'd have a full house every night because it would be so exclusive. Oh, that makes me sad. 
Did you get to go once before it closed, Charles? You want me to check out the mine? Yeah. Uh, bring off a couple of crystals. Uh, you were thinking. Uh, not asking you to clear out the whole mine, man, but with just a few crystals, I can afford uh, to send my whole sorority down there. I'll see what I can do. Gumbleback mine, huh? All right. You wander off the main path and stroll along among the trees for a bit. It's nice to get out in nature for a bit. At least uh, until you walk into an invisible spider web and it gets all tangled in your hair. Fuck that. While flailing around, disgusted, trying to get it off you, you stumble into a second spider web which grows right across your face. Ah! And that's when, staggering blind, you get yourself tangled in a third spider web. This one much larger and stronger and made to trap prey of more or less your size. What the fuck? How big is this spider? The extremely large spider sitting in the corner of the web looks delighted to see you. And inasmuch as a spider can smile, this one's smile has poison dripping off of it. Let's fucking fight it. It's big. That's a big black widow. Oh, Molly goes first now. Interesting. She's got that speed. Did this turtle just try to heal me and poison me instead? Oh, I'm throwing cheese, not beans. I'm th I'm oh I'm, I'm a cheese slinger. I don't, think, I don't remember what I started out as. I don't remember my calling. The spider poisoned you, but your HP was full, so it did nothing. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. And then I got poisoned. Okay. Ew, spider eggs. Oh God. I'm a cheese wizard. I am a cheese wizard. Okay. I'm a cheese wizard. What the fuck? Right open. Crowbar makes short work of short work of the long boards. I think. I think we bought that. So is it gone now? It might be gone. Or was it a weapon? It's a weapon. To be honest, Cheese Wizard should be one of your tags. Consider it done. Cheese Wizard. Cheese Wizard. Cheese Wizard. I English and Cheese Wizard. That's it. Those are the tags. That's it. If nothing else, it'll help me remember what I am, maybe. Uh, yes, I was friends with one of the three people that started the place. Unfortunately, the rest of the place um, owned by them ended up going under slash sold off during the COVID lockdowns. No, that's such a bummer. They had such a good idea. Uh, filing cabinet is newer than the rest of the furniture, uh, but it's still pretty whacked. Let's see what's inside. Oh, flip-flops. Makes your steps more organized. What does that mean? Not that I will ever take off these vampire boots, probably, but. Why do I have accordion feet now? I don't like it. I don't like it. Bring back my vampire feet. I mean, does this body floating with a top hat, a monocle, and a mustache not give you uh, absolute cheese wizard vibes? Like, come on. I'm such a wizard. We'll be genuinely curious uh, who finds this channel because they were looking for cheese wizards. <laughs> Set the trap. I'm also curious. Probably no one. Maybe there's like an unspoken rule, though, that when you play this game, you put your, you put your designation in here. Little radio playing some music. Uh, some big band. Uh, nothing on the desk except a very old pink slip. Read it. The reasons for termination is listed as shirking of elevator maintenance duties. Uh-oh. Somebody's in trouble. Coat rack is bare. 
Wish we could get in the locked cabinet. All right, let's go into the portal. Oh, so we can get in the cabinet. Look inside. Ah, oh, this version of the cabinet is empty. Empty bird cage. They must have run out of canaries. Desk with nothing on it, uh, on or in or under or behind it. A huge disappointment, really. 1906. Hold on. Now that I looked at the cabinet, is it unlocked? No. Boo. Jeez, ruins your day, so instead you use its power to ruin other people's days? Absolutely. Uh, a jacket hanging on a coat rack, which I guess makes it technically a jacket rack. A jacket rack! Oh, nice. We got the mine key. Let's go down. Why not? Let's go down, but in the past. What is down here in the past? Spooky things? Cabinet labeled dynamite storage and is extremely locked. Uh, table is bare except for a note reading IOU one helmet. Ugh. Very large, oddly spherical rock has a hole drilled into it. Shine your flashlight in the hole. Your flashlight reveals sparkly colored crystals inside. It's a geode. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm curious to see what's in this uh, cave mine uh, in present day. Let us go. What? Let me back. Okay. I thought it was going to let me for a second. Oh. Nice. Unlock it. Open the cabinet. Nice. The cabinet is empty except for a can of elevator grease. Okay, this is what we need. Can labeled elevator grease, so don't go thinking you can use it to lubricate a ramp or a staircase or a funicular. What the fuck is a funicular? Okay, let's grease it. Uh, it's too far gone for Grease to help at this point. You really hope somebody got fired for doing such a terrible job of taking care of this elevator. No! What are we meant to do? I mean, somebody did get fired, but... How are we meant to fix it? Oh, grease it in the past. Smart. Uh, a squirt here, a dollop there, and kapow. This thing will run like a charm for the next 22 years. Yes. Nice, Amp. Got that big brain energy. Funicular uh, of a railway, especially one on a mountainside. Operating a cable with ascending and descending. Oh, cars counterbalance. It's a cable car system. Okay. Uh, write it down. We did it. We took care of it. Wow, it's super fucking dark. Okay. That's better. Big crack in the wall. Massive cave-in. Actually, I suppose it's technically a mine-in. I guess we need the dinamite. Back to the past we go. I wonder if it'll let me take it now. I mean, technically, we could crack the geode open here. Hmm. I 
have literally no idea. And props, you want to save the day again? <laughs> we got a big crack, debris, and rock pile up. Don't put pressure on me. No, it's fine. Let's let's see. Let's Google it. Um. Let's see. Wait a minute, what? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Yeah, I think you're right, Eric. It might have something to do with the beam. Uh, the guide is saying there's a termite infestation. This support beam is lousy with termites. So, keep the beam, stop the cave-in. Okay. Um, fortunately, I know exactly where to go because I read the guide. A short adventure to the hardware store later. Save the cheerleader, save the world. Uh, you see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get near, you realize this person looks familiar because they look exactly like you again. Again, this man. Uh, you opt to avoid the encounter for now, though you get the sense that the forces of paradox won't let you run away forever. Oh, I didn't, oh, I must have clicked on the wrong thing. I did not mean to avoid it. Oops. Termite poison. I wish regulatory agency made me stop selling a few years back because it was quote unquote killing everybody who used it. Huh. So more of an everything poison then. Uh huh. Wicked good for termites though. Excuse me while I investigate your storage building for uh, just a second. Or, you know, 50 years. It's fine. Um, outhouse rentals. You're renting outhouses? Uh-huh, at least I was. Now that indoor plumbing's starting to get popular, there's no market for them anymore. Just got the ones left, and I'm calling it quits on putting up new ones. Can I rent the last one? Sure, it'll be 200 meat up front for the installation, and half that each month after for maintenance. What does maintenance do? I dump some powdered lime down the hall, clean out the ventilation pipes, check for splinter? Splitters? Oh no! Not splinters in the outhouse! Once the pit starts to get full, I'll move the outhouse over a couple yards and dig a new one for you. Plus you get a free subscription to the local newspaper. Hmm, interesting. Not... Not for me, really. Um... Somewhere in here. Aha! Uh, this shelf is laden with dangerous pesticides and you're pretty sure were banned years ago. Among them... You see a mason jar filled with oily brown liquid. It has a handwritten label termite poison. Ask about it. 22 meat! I'll take it. Term Termo blast. Mind you to not get any on your skin. Don't breathe the fumes and don't pour down any drains or rivers or otherwise let it get into the groundwater. And if the jar starts to melt, just get, get it into a fresh jar straight away. What is this shit? Acid? Um, I'm going to add a note because I feel like it'll come in handy later. Um, see hardware store man in the past for an outhouse. Oh, that's all I can write. I, I feel like that's going to be important later. Okay. okay. Boo, I still can't get any candy. He's got nothing for sale. I cleaned this man out. 
Uh, okay, back to the mark. Whatever it is, it's extremely dangerous. It is. It's, it could dissolve anything. Apparently, even the jar it's in. <laughs> mine? 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 Man, I haven't seen that movie in so long. I need to watch it again. 10 out of 10 movie. All right. Let's fuck them up. Hose it down with chemicals. Probably should put the gas mask on first. Yeah, I just murdered the shit out of those bugs. I murdered them good. <laughs> Thanks for the sound videos, Eric. Probably a combination of uh, hydrofluoric hydro and hydrochloric acids. Combination will dissolve glass and gold. Jesus. That's intense. Oh. Nice. Mining helmet. I feel like that's appropriate to wear. Boop got a light uh extremely enthusiastic rat has chewed a hole in the solitary locked steel cabinet reach in nice a 22 year old stick of dynamite safe completely safe absolutely osha compliant you root around the cabinet and manage to find one stick of dynamite within arm's reach nice. stick the dynamite in light it up Oh my god. You've seen some disappointing explosions in your life, but this one really failed to even make a dent in the cake. This rock must be of tougher stuff than a relatively fresh stick of dynamite can handle. Hmm. God damn it. Now what? To the past? Oh. Okay, take a stick of dynamite into the past, put it in the hole. Man, this one really has you going back and forth. So we'll put it in the hole, and then over the years it might break apart more, question mark? See if that did anything. Do we need a fresher stick of dynamite? Maybe? The old man at the hardware store didn't sell dynamite, so. If this doesn't do it, I'm consulting the guide. Is there a spot in the past where the crack would have been? Oh, you think we blow the crack? Hmm. Can we just blow the crack now? No. Didn't the Cola Wars surplus store sell grenades? Yeah, I think I have some. Um, offhand items? No. Uh, combat items? Seltzer. Scary bomb. Cola can. I guess I don't have any grenades per se. We could try that next. Let me try the crack in the wall theory. Can you use the dynamite on the case in the past to open it and get fresh dynamite? Oh, also an interesting theory. Okay, there's no action on the wall. Let's try it on the case. No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. We put it in and we light it in the future. Don't know why that would be the case. Oops. Why would that be the case? Why would that work? St extremely old stick of dynamite. 
It's practically squirting nitroglycerin. Oh, because they didn't replace, they must have replaced the dynamite in the mine in the, in the previous times. Nice. Exposing a huge variety of crystals, you should let Crystal know. Oh, okay, now we just tell her. Oh, I guess I didn't need to, I could just probably warp out of here. Oh my god, more webs? You pull up short, having nearly walked straight into a huge spider web while you weren't paying attention. Although, I guess some parts, part of you was paying attention. Good job, whatever part that was. You turn and head in another direction, and you soon find yourself stopped by another big spider web. So you turn around in the other direction. Nope, the patch path ends in a big spider web as well. Uh, looks like the attention paying part of you wasn't paying enough attention to keep you from getting lost in a huge spider web maze. Oh my god. Maybe in the future you should pay attention to these things for yourself instead of just delegating. I'm gonna I'm gonna solve the maze. With some careful mental mapping, you eventually manage to navigate your way out of the maze. Somewhere nearby, you hear the chittering noise of a spider. A spider equivalent to shucks. <laughs> Did it. Uh, how's that mine of mine? How's that mine of mine? <laughs> Break it off anything expensive? Yes, in fact. You did? Well, that's just great. Hang on a minute. She leaves and comes back an hour later with two big armloads of crystals. Just uh, give me a couple hours and I'll give you a fully functional crystal shop, okay? What should I do in the meantime? Uh, got some old magazines around here somewhere? Oh yeah, here they are. Read magazines for a couple of hours. <laughs> you spend a while reading. Uh, it's mostly op-ed pieces about political scandals from 20 years ago, but you managed to learn a thing or two. Crystal eventually taps you on the shoulder. All set now. Don't suppose you'd like to make a purchase? You know, this magazine's pretty fascinating. Uh, say, did you hear about the those sketchy land grants up in Oregon? I remember my grandparents talking about it. Boy, that Mitchell, what a sneaky snake. Yeah, anyway, uh, got you a little something to say thanks. I was going to through the crystals I found, and this one was small enough I can't really sell it for much, but I just thought of you. It's a quest item. You remember when the very ideal of a crystal was no more than a twinkle in Crystal's eye? Uh, thanks. What else you got in stock? Ooh, boy. Look at all the shit. Heal yourself for twice your moxie. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Plus three cold armor. Plus three spooky. Plus three stench. Plus three sleaze, three hot. Whatever healing magic this crystal had in it has gone sour. Shopping! Yeah, but it's crystal shopping. Look at all these healing crystals. They, they're they just speaking to my aura, you know? They could really soothe my chi. I, <laughs> I don't know another word for aura. Um... Unfortunately, I don't think we need any of this because my heal is so OP. I'll get one of these just in case. Man, look at her shop. Beautiful crystals everywhere. Chakra? Chakra would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Yes, bro, that's exactly what I thought. Shopping for crystal meth? No, no, no. No, no, no. Different type of crystal. Different type of crystal. All right, let's wander. Beep pose hole. What the fuck does that mean? You notice a particular cotton what cobweb strewn co cops. Jesus, my brain can't anymore. <laughs> cobweb strewn cops of trees. And as you get near it, you catch a glimpse of a big hole full of spiders in the middle of it. Oh, God, please, God, no. You can just barely read the old sign next to it declaring the world that the hole belongs to Beepo. Let's go to Beepo's hole. It's time for Beepo's hole. It's a hole. We found it, Drilly. We found the hole. Unfortunately, it's a spider hole, not a rat hole. But Plex says Beepo's hole on top and then some fine print. Read it. Beepo's hole named after Beepo P. Sharicio, who purchased this plot of land in 1903 with the stated intention of creating a shark sanctuary. What the fuck? Beepo. 
He managed to dig a decent sized pit, but before he could fill it with sharks, it filled itself up with spiders. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that the spiders filled it up themselves. And their offspring. They're teeming hordes of awful, venomous offspring. It is the opinion of Crystal Dream Lake Historical Society that Beepo's hole should be avoided at all costs. In fact, we shouldn't have even put a placard here or indicated it on any maps. May those you leave behind forgive us. What the fuck, Sassy? <laughs> is that Beepo? Is that Beepo flying? That's so weird. It like broke my chat. I love it. Crystal meth probably would have been used for medicinal purposes anyway. Got a cavity? Have some meth. That's true. You're not wrong. Oh no. A wiggly cocoon that is roughly person size. It's either a person who's been cocooned by a spider and is slowly suffocating to death or a person sized mass of baby spiders. <gasps> God. Talk to him, her, them. Hmm. Are you a person or a mind breaking quantity of baby spiders? Is that the <laughs> is that the kind of noise uh, that a whole lot of baby spiders would make? I'm gonna cut them free. You cut the cocoon apart, knowing that it's probably just a guy in there, but secretly hoping that it's a trillion baby spiders instead. Sadly, it is indeed a guy. But since you're so into spiders that you deliberately check a setting to let us know, oh my god. Since you're so into spiders that you deliberately checked a setting to let us know, why not take a second to close your eyes and imagine if it had been a trillion baby spiders just pouring out of there, covering you entirely. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> they knew about my, what was it, like anti-arachnophobia? I did check it. I did say that I love spiders. Wow, thanks, friend. You had me worried for a sec. They call me Doc. Uh, I came here to get some free gauze. Huh. I uh, got a bit more than I bargained for. <laughs> Hi, Doc. I'm Leroy. I assume you're the doctor... Your doctor hat thing that you're literally a doctor? In the sense of that doctoring is my profession, yes. In the sense that I have a legal license for practicing it, no. <laughs> um, oh. Oh my god, we can get more hobo code. You were looking for gauze? Yep. Uh, the webs from these big spiders like this make really great surgical gauze. It's strong, self-adhesive, and even sterile if it's really fresh. Unfortunately, I kind of bit off more than I could chew. You can chew on it too? No, I meant metaphorically. Uh, one of the big spiders that live in Beepo's hole caught me, caught sight of me. I don't recommend messing around with that hole, especially if you're flushed to the gills on medical alco medicinal, medicinal alcohol. I see. What about hobo code? Yes. I could teach you hobo code for all kinds of medical terms. There's a hobo camp, my guy. You know, there's a hobo camp just outside of Ocean City. They could probably use a doctor. Great, I could use some patience because I'm much too eager to get to doctoring. Oh my god. Uh, that joke works better out loud than in print. But anyway, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. What is our hobo code level? I don't know if we can see our hobo code level. Um, no. Oh, hobo literacy. You are a level nine student of the hobo alphabet. Guys, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Where was it? In the distillery? Sorry, Beepo. Detour. Yes. You read the code. The code reads, be careful not to drop your handkerchief in this barrel. Hmm. You reach into the barrel to see if anybody ignored the advice. They did. Boost soak handkerchief plus five stench armor. This hanky is soaked in some nice smelling schnapps. Nice. We did it. Good thing we did that now because I probably would have forgotten. Oh man, people still stubbing their toes on nightstands. Junk mail. And comfy hat lining. I think we can open the junk mail, right? Yeah. You open the letter. Oh yeah, that's right. We, we don't have a letter opener. I haven't seen where to get one. You can go to the harbor in the other area and take pictures with hats for money. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I do have quite a bit of new hats. Actually, I don't even know if I have that many new hats. 
But away we go. I'll fight him. Junk mail is a new technology that allows trash to be distributed to everybody. Yeah, yes. I love the description on it. It's so good. What kind of noob stubs their toe on a nightstand? I prefer to use sofas to destroy my toenails. Paladin, welcome. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh, I also use couches to wreck toenails. God, my toenails still to this day cower in fear of that fucking couch. Do you think he'll question the fact that I'm floating? <laughs> um, okay, hat, no, oops, hats. I think we did the top hat already. I could be wrong. Nice. Did I do... God, we have so many welding masks. I should probably get rid of one. I'm pretty sure we've done everything else. Let me try this. Nice, okay. I'm gonna actually sell a couple of these because we definitely don't need three. Uh, put my lucky hat back on. cotton candy while I'm out here. Mira's the queen of removing toenails. Her own, though. I feel like I could remove somebody else's. Um. Oh, I didn't pay attention to what we just caught. Stupid. Haunted clam? What? This clam has seen deeper and darker things than your terrestrial perception allows you to imagine. What the fuck happened to that clam? Barn trout. Nasty goo. Cryptic message in a bottle. Oh, all right. Bucket of chum. Root beer taffy. We're getting everything but fish. Whiplash Rubberneck. Uh, lemony Meadow Carp. When I was a kid, my big toenail fell off. It was weird. It is weird. It's very bizarre. Deviant Trout. What was the other thing? Oh, it's not going to tell me. Just four more. Current value is just 17 meat for all that fish? I don't think she has yet. She's missing some uh, requirement. Can you give that gauze pass to the doctor you just met? Oh, I wonder. Oh, I already have four of them already. <laughs> um, let's sell our... Um, fish, maybe? Where's the fish? Maybe she doesn't buy fish. Look for something that's worth 17 meat. Mm. Let's just go by the meat. There it is. I think we already played the games. I think we've already played the games, but let me check. Sell my fish sack. Um. Welcome back. Care to test your skills on the second level challenge? What is it? You just take this mallet and hit this lever hard enough to ring the bell while shooting a bullseye with an air rifle and solving this crossword puzzle. How hard's the puzzle? It's a Thursday puzzle, so tough, but not unmanageable. All right. We got clown pants. Holy. Uh, You put the pencil between your teeth and pick up the mallet in one hand and the air rifle in the other. Hmm, pow, slam, ding, solve. 
Wow, I hate the clues with the question marks after them. Aw. But those are the fun ones. Good job, kid. You're a winner. Here's your prize. Uh, plus one to all types of armor. Hooray. Interesting. So it has levels. So can we do it again? Seven. Plus seven to all stats. Uh, plus ten meat. All right. So let's add that to our to-dos. Uh, seven, oops, seven in all stats. Board walk challenge. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to write a note about, um, find a let, oops, letter opener, open junk mail. Um, let's go to the hobo camp and talk to the hobo we just met and see if he wants some gauze. Um, nice. She got some bean shooter practice in. Uh, let's do some bean shooter practice. Every little bit helps. And my fingers, my fingers getting itchy. Sounds like we shouldn't be shooting guns in the middle of the city. Ah, baloney. It's copacetic. The fuzz ain't here. Ain't worth a plug nickel. Who else is going to raise beef when we were clearly healed? Take your word for it. As soon as I figure out what it was. Yeah, it was a lot of words. Ah, baloney. Baloney is a word we should bring back. I think I just realized that I move spooky. Molly talks like Miro. Do I say baloney? I mean, I do now. Hey, thanks for pointing me here. It's been great. Uh, I bet everyone's really glad to have a doctor around. Uh, yep. Although, we've got a pretty robust lot here, so there hasn't been anything really interesting for me to do yet. But you know what they say, every unre unremoved appendix is basically a ticking time bomb. Can you spare some first aid supplies? Oh, nice. We got the supplies. Mercury drops. Uh, sure, here you go. Use them in good health. No, wait, that would be wasteful. Wait until you're in bad health. <laughs> uh, a stipic pencil? These are for when you cut yourself shaving, but it's not like you're going to void the warranty if you use it on s something other than a leg or a face or armpit blood. Uh, best aid is often the first one. Increases your mysticality by one. A product is safe and effective... And don't ever let anyone tell you any differently. Mercury drops don't sound... That doesn't sound safe. That doesn't sound safe. I can speak from experience on the appendix being a ticking time bomb. You lost your appendix, Commodore Tom? Oh, no. You do say bologna sandwich frequently? Oh. oh. Error, I'm not even going to read that or it will be stuck in my head for the rest of time. I'm not even... No, I'm not even going to entertain it. No. I refuse. I... I do sound spooky when I move. Listen. I'm spooky. Hold on. Let's go somewhere quiet. I think Pluckett Street is quiet. Uh, you're walking through Ocean City and encounter a mailbox has been tipped over by vandals. Well, let's put it back up. You write the letterbox. It's heavier than it looked, but it's you're more responsible than you look, too. Nice. Good on me. It's not happening. It's not happening anymore. What the hell? Apparently I'm only spooky at hobo camp. Um, Beepo's Hole. Back to Beepo's Hole. Squirrels chatter angrily at you from a nearby hollow tree, presumably trying to scare you away from its stash. It's really typical. It's really a real tactical mistake on its part since now you know where its stash is. It scampers away as you peer in the hole. You find not just the expected nuts, but also several wallets? Huh? Has this squirrel been mugging hikers? Maybe you should get out of here before it comes back with a knife. Good idea. The fuck, squirrel? I really took the uh, long way around. Nice. All right. Let's jump in and fight some spiders. Oh, this is just like the mushroom place. It's just like a... 
a uh, grind hole. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Those are the words. Grind hole. That's it? Did that say long ago what? You swore long ago you'd never deliberately walk into an unpenetrable mass of spider webs. It's a good, uh, de good declaration. Let's do a few more. Uh, is anyone here excited about Hogwarts Legacy at all? Anybody have any thoughts, opinions, feelings? S swing some sleeves. Man, I really wreck some shit. You have feelings? You're not excited, Sassy? There's been a lot of controversy around it. I was just curious. I want to see the reviews first. That's valid. I feel like it could end up being like a just a very generic open world situation. I wonder when the embargo lifts. Um, uh, cool. Let's. Do we have anywhere else to go? I think we're. Pretty much caught up on everything. Uh, I already have a blue cola. Fragrant spores. Ah, nuts. Hold the line. I stepped in some kind of weird mushroom. Spores all over my good dancing shoes for crying out loud. Dancing as in actual dancing or as in back alley shootout? Why'd I want a different pair for each? <laughs> they ain't that dissimilar. She wipes the spores off her high heels. Uh, high heels? This girl's out here wearing high heels? Okay. Um, she wipes the spores off her high heels with a leaf and hands it to you as if you'll know what to do with it. Fragrant spores. It's a potion. Hmm. Not my kind of game, but I am un not sure I want to support JK Rowling in any way. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if she gets any sort of the revenue from it. No one's actually come out and said, like, yeah, she'll get royalties. So, I'm not, I'm not certain. I don't know how that kind of stuff works. Oh my god, it's that guy again. He looks like me. Uh, hi, uh, are you a clone or is this a time paradox or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. Agree. High five. The two of you, literally speaking, exchange another friendly high five. Or, well, I guess this is just the first time? Nice. I should get it going. Yeah, me too. Good luck. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'll have to remember that one. You did. 10 out of 10. Uh, how much XP do we have? Can we level something up? 163. Oh, she can. Let's buy muscle and then let's go back to ocean city and then uh do the hades lock thing the cerberus thing i don't think she does i think she got paid for them uh getting the license to make the game and that's it but i don't know for sure she retains the rights to the harry potter universe so she gets something even if it's not any of the profits. I think, yeah, paying once for the license sounds right. So, like, it's already happened whether you play the game or not. If we keep supporting the franchise, she'll keep getting paid for stuff like that. It's, I feel like this battle is a lot like recycling. Yeah, you can do your part, but it's never going to change anything. Like, there's too many people that won't participate. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Let's use the key. Yes! Uh, it takes everything you got, but you find you uh, 
Finally, the sturdy keyhole of Phalanx falls uh, to you in the contest of raw strength. Cast Iron Head gives you a nod. Respect between gladiators. Nice. Uh, with the two locks of Phalanx and Metapon defanged, the head of Sneaky Pete bends back its jaw and releases its lock with a yawn. The key to Sneaky Pete apparently was not to use a key. Works for me. Oh, that's the last lock was Sneaky Pete. Okay, okay, okay. So now we can open the door. What in the actual hell? What is what is this? Uh, this miraculous little lamp has burned for 20 years and counting, keeping a single solitary vigil to this dying to the dying of I'm not turning it off. I'm not turn I'm not gonna be the one to wreck a 20 year streak. Uh, standing by the cash register, you fantasize about what it would be like to have a service job instead of whatever it is you do. Freelance uncursing. Free yeah, freelance uncursing, yeah. Oh, that's right. Open the cash register. The door is sealed shut, but there's and there's no obvious way to open it. Uh, there's nothing you can do with the cash register at all, in fact, other than bang on numerical keys like a toddler might. I get what you mean, but uh, I get a better conscious, however that's spelled, to not support stuff like that or recycle. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you just gotta do what you're comfortable with doing. Yeah, exactly. Or, um, let's force the drawer open. Metal drawer comes loose with a firm pull from your powerful horse horse hands? Horse hands. When did I get horse hands? Uh, but you're doing so, uh oh, triggers the bank alarm. Oops. No, not the rain. Today we celebrate our opening of Securbris Building and Loan at Puckett Street. Integrity, security, and excellence, a corporate value for each head of the dog. Meat lines the drawer in uniform puzzle. Now I'm going to take it. No wonder the bank was collapsing. This is all they got in the tilt. 19 meat, that's it. Uh, there's no visible means of opening this monstrously, monstrous vault door. Kick it. That help? Ow. <laughs> what if I wear the steel toe boots? What if I wear the steel toe boots? Shoes. Oh, that was a punch it. That doesn't help. Shoot it. What the fuck was that noise? Tie the vault to a car and drive it down the street. <laughs> <laughs> that did not go as planned. Oh my god, the car is fucking sticking out now. Oops. Jesus. Open it, who knows. There's gotta be something I can do. Oh, I bet it's to blow this out. Oh no. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, now I just feel like an ass. Shit. Well. Guess that about wraps it up for today. Uh, we fucked over the bank. The fact that they all collectively decided to make light bulbs worse so they wouldn't last as long. Who's they? Um... Get into Cerber. Oops. Cer. Cerberus Bank Vault. That sounds good. Is there anything else we needed to do? I'm trying to think. Oh. We need to somehow contact the gang that Molly's in to tell them that... Oh, I'm wearing the wrong boots. I was like, why are my footsteps so clonky? I'm not wearing my floaty shoes. Here we go. Huh, okay, I guess I don't call them, they must call me. Uh, Charles flags you down. I got some applicants for a new storefront uh, I fixed up. Over there on the other side of Cola War Surplus. Got a second to pick one? Sure thing. Got an applicant for 
Jardware's Hardware. I guess the name is Jardware. Your opinion for rhyming business names is pretty limited. The second one is Yield Chi Miker. Uh, some SIT science lady that wants to sell potions. The last applicant is Texas Instruments. Guy from Texas selling musical instruments, I suppose. Hmm. What would Jardware's Hardware be selling? Well, let's go to the hardware store. I uh, moved him up, moved him in, and the to get the next storefront ready for applicants. Thanks, Charles. Uh oh, you put the crystal crystal gave you on little shelf. Is that clear? Ah, look, my knickknack shelf. Oh, let's rub the crystal. Twinkling fingers. Oh, that's probably gonna wear off. Uh, rubbed off on you, specifically on the fingers part of you. Good. Hold on, what part of me did that go to? Perks. Effects. It's an effect, which means it goes away when I sleep. No! That's gonna be so sad. Wait, what is this? Someone has given you a nightstand. There's a briefcase on top of the note. Take one and read the other. The note reads, Leroy, to qualify the quality of your work at the distillery has been noted as excellent. We will contact you in a telephonular manner with further opportunities, DT. You got briefcase full of meat. Oh, we got paid, nice. 300. Now that's a lot of gabagool. Gabagool? The cartel included manufacturers Osram General Electric, Associated General Industry, and Philips, among others. That you they really just conspired? You know, that doesn't actually surprise me at all. Um, we have a message. Call Dante. Okay. So now we gotta call the mob. He looks like he wants something. What's up, Charles? Got something you might find handy. I finally found the time to check out the door behind me. Turns out there's an old brick passageway uh, back there. It leads right to the spittoon. That's pretty convenient. Thanks, Charles. I'm actually... Oh, my God. This is great. I don't understand why I'm only spooky in some places. Fuck yeah, guys. We got a direct line to the jams. Oh, yeah. Let's feed her. Nice. You open a can of sardines. Calliope instantly wakes up, devours the entire can, then purrs as she licks the remaining oil off your fingers. Looks like you made a new friend. What's the Calliope boon? Uh, Ishmael's boon is plus one to mysticality. Calliope's is plus one to physical armor. Mm, we'll keep. Secret talk. Secret, 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 secret tunnel, yeah. Oh my god, I forgot we had that as a sound mini. Paladin, thank you for the sound mini. He's absolutely a secret tunnel right to the right to the speakeasy. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. That was great. Now Fancy Dan can sneak into our room real quick at night. Somehow, somehow that's creepy. Somehow that is scary. Okay. I'm going to leave myself a note. Um, I'm going to leave myself a note to rub crystal. I want to see if it works when I wake up. And I also want to go to... Sorry. Call Dawn back. Cool. All right. So that is our list of things to do for next time. We've got quite a few. And of course, then we'll also have to, I think, search for a book, she said. So, cool. That about does it for today, guys. Um, I will be back on Wednesday with more of this game. Um, next week, we will not have a stream on Sunday. Just as a heads up, there will not be a weekend stream next week. Uh, I've got a friend in town, so we're going to hang out. Um. Oh yeah. Come here, Tom. Thank you for the reason.
resub! Happy 29 months! Thanks for the stream! Thanks so much for being here! And thank you for the resub! Uh, let's do our thank yous and our good nights. Uh, Noob was online earlier. Let's see, is she still? Yeah, we'll go ahead and raid Noob. Um, if you're going to stick around, please join me in the raid. Um, so, Commodore Tom, thank you for that resub. Thank you, thank you. Happy 29 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. Uh, Fex, thank you for the donation. Remember, Fancy Dan uh, went to a psychic to warn them of their future. Don't forget that, guys. Uh, Sassy Waifu, thank you for the 61 months. Thank you for the resub. Uh, thank you for the five actual years. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the continued support. Um... And I think that's it for today. Thank you to everybody who did sound buddies as well. I appreciate those. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Let's go ahead and raid Noob. Uh, she's playing Return to Monkey Island, just as a heads up if you don't want spoilers for that game. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all on Wednesday for some more Shadows Over Loathing. <laughs> Bye, guys. Stay fancy. I like that. Stay fancy.